gents, it is 6.01 p.m. We have a quorum present, and so I am opening the January 4th, 2022 meeting of the Rutland Conservation Commission. Let me, gosh, put this one in so I can clip there. Gosh, it's almost like I don't know what the hell I'm doing with this damn thing. All right. Oh, man, it's first. You can tell I read it because we scrolled all the way to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Kudos. Motion to accept. Second. Uh, since we're all in the room, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, oh yeah, I should announce, especially since we have a guest to that, we are being recorded broadcast on TV live, will be rebroadcast later, put up on YouTube, we're streaming to the internet, and of course we're on Zoom. Um, there we go. That's, that would be me, 48 Finn Park Road? Yes. Yep. No, uh, all right, let's go here. So the first thing on our agenda is an RDA. Uh, yeah, RDA for five Christmas tree lane, and I'm kind of surprised nobody's here. Um, so I actually found the RDA a little lacking. Oh wait, but this is just a submission, so we can just talk about it. No, I advertised for it. Oh, you did? Yeah, because we talked about this last time. We had talked about it last time, and yep. you didn't get it in time to get it in the paper. Okay. Yep. Uh, well. Joe is on his way. Oh, okay, great. Um, what I find lacking is, I mean, it's nice that he tells us where he's going to level on the property, but I think what's lacking is he doesn't say how he's going to deal with the edge of his property. Is he going to construct a wall? Is he going to just... Slope it. Let it be. Yeah, let it slope down. <coughs> what kind? If he's just going to slope, what's the slope? What is the slope going to be? None of that's been decided. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that we can act with this information. But that's that. That's just my first thought about it. I'm happy to just uh, have anybody give any other thoughts. <laughs> now, now, well, let me also say, but let's not forget this is completely outside our jurisdiction. It's outside the 100 foot, I'm pretty certain. Uh, actually, I should have pulled that up. Yeah, because at the last meeting it was given to him as a suggestion, but not as a requirement to do the RDA. Right, but the thing that I never did <coughs> <coughs> oh, it's five, Peter. Is it five? Yeah. Thank you. Come on, paint it in. Uh, oh, it's definitely over. Because if that's 125 feet, it's a lot longer to this. And let no. Uh, well, if you turn on, not to throw a wrench in it, if you turn on the aerials, and I'll preface, I didn't go to this site visit, it does look like there's surrounding BBW around the stream that might make it in the 100 foot. So the RDA is probably the best idea. You can it's that big blob. <laughs> Where right, so this is, this, this is a larger wetland that encompasses that yeah. stream. So I think that it probably goes under that dirt access, I would assume. Oh, actually, you know what? We know that it does. Because DC, well, DCR has said that about this section that's on the Heights property. So it is underground. So there is no bank. So there is no yeah. one or 200 foot. So. There's no, there's no question that this is outside our jurisdiction. That that this change along this, you know, all the fill here 
is outside our jurisdiction. Just a second, let me do that. Which I thought was the position we took last time, yeah. but I'm just sort of refreshing my memory here. So even with the lacking, what I consider lacking information, I don't think that that would stop us. Or does it? I mean, I mean we, we can, look, it's an RDA for something that's not jurisdictional. We can easily just call it not jurisdictional and move on. Or, you know what I mean. Yeah. I think the closest point it would be if there was some surrounding BMW would be like 7580 feet away from the property line. So. Well, yeah, it depends on exactly where that edge yeah. is. And then, right, and then if we go, yeah, okay, yes. So, yep. I think it, it'd be useful to know how much and, yeah, what the final look will be, but I'm not sure how necessary to your point. I think I'd just be more concerned with the road controls. Yes, and I think we want to condition that, right? Yeah. Uh, I think if we had a condition to inspect prior to billing or work, I'd be comfortable with that. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Other thoughts and questions? Do we have? Uh, I was going to look it up. I was going to say sample language or template language for uh, Tamika to. Um, erosion controls. What do we want for erosion controls? Well, if I recall, I thought we Sil mentioned fence. last night silt fence and compost sock or some kind of yeah. straw waddle. Yeah. So <coughs> silt fence and straw waddle or comparable alternative to be installed and inspected prior to construction. Okay. Melissa, do you know at the top of your head, is it reason number one? I think it's three. Oh, it's three, okay. And you would put that condition right in that lines underneath three. Okay. You ask me every two weeks. No, I don't know why. It's I can't, almost always. And I can't remember. It's almost always three, isn't it? Yeah. They all read like similar yeah. to me, so I, it's like I can't stick it in my head for whatever reason. Yes, it's negative number three. Okay. Which is it's in the buffer zone, therefore it doesn't require NOI subject to these conditions. Okay. So I would make a motion to that. I was going to say that's so, <laughs> that's so close to a motion. <laughs> So, so moved. Negative number three with the conditions as stated. Second. Uh, now that there's somebody's online, uh, I'll actually do a roll call. Clark? Clark, aye. Gentilucci? Gentilucci, aye. Danza? Danza, aye. Crane, aye. Okay. And hey, Mark, can you hear us? I can hear you. Fantastic. So, Justin, how much do we So, this one's just a. This is just a submission to This me. one is just a submission for the NOI. So we have a submission for an NOI for 276 Palmagusset Road. I didn't pull up the full blown. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's the site plan if you want to leave that on the screen. I can walk you through it quick if you yeah, like. Yeah, please, that's fine. Yeah, so uh, this is for uh, the Massey residence. It's for a proposed addition. This is on Palmagusset Road. Uh, those wetland flags really represent uh, what is a pond back there? Oh, um, yeah, okay. The wetland flags are mostly the high water mark, especially over by the garage, wetland flag 10 and 11. It is a pretty steep embankment. Yep. And then wetland flag kind of like 4 through 9 is mostly edge of mowed lawn. Uh, the whole thing's pretty low, but um, the mowed lawn was a pretty decent delineation. And uh, they're proposing an addition to the house. They're removing a deck and removing some driveway area to put the addition in. It's going to be an attached garage. And we've also filed an RDA with uh, DCR. Uh, a lot of fill going in here? 
No, not a lot of fill. Uh, they're not going to tr- change grade much as far as the driveway and entrance to the garage. They're going to tr- pretty much match grade with some stairs up to the house. It's uh, really not a lot of site work at all. Okay. Uh, I don't see a scale handy. What's, you know, between uh, this yeah, and this one of those the, is closer. Well, to, I, I'm actually interested more to the wetlands than I am to the erosion control. But what, roughly, how close is that going to be? Uh, I don't have it right. <coughs> Hang on, let me pull it out. I can scale it. But there is a scale down on the bottom left if you want to approximate it. But I can pull it out. Oh, there it is. So that's like 25 ish, maybe 30. Yeah, I, and I didn't pay too much attention to distance to wetland only because the footprint and the location of the addition is kind of locked in as right. far as what they have for space. Well, it's just one of our pretty standard questions nowadays. <laughs> it's on the order yeah. to know that. Yeah. Understood. Where did you say it was? 25 feet was the closest point? Oh, I, that's just, you, I have it here. Hang on, let me just get a scale up. Great, thanks. Yeah, it looks like maybe 15 to 20. Yeah. That's the closest corner. In the back right corner? Yeah. I was going to say northeast, but I don't think that's actually northeast. Yeah, that's not <laughs> <laughs> The absolute closest point from that corner of the foundation to the line between wetland flag 9 and 10 yeah. is probably about 15 feet. 15. A little okay. shy of 15. Maybe a foot shy of 15 feet. 13 or 14. I didn't, you know, it is a pond, so I didn't pay close, close attention to the wetland flags. It's a pretty steep embankment, but, right. you know, there's, there's a chance that that's not an exact straight line between wetland flag 9 and 10, too. They, they might actually have a little more space there. I was pretty conservative on the wetland flags. Conservative in that, if anything, the wetlands are actually further away than that. Right. So this is just a submission. Questions or comments for people from people? Do we want to do a site walk? Uh, yeah, we should. Just to keep in the <laughs> habit of, especially in the cold, to remind ourselves why we don't do this <laughs> in the winter very much. Uh, will we see anything if we do? Uh, not this Friday? Saturday. <laughs> not this weekend. Maybe not. Well, to, I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, it's a, it's a pond. It's a very easily easy to determine, it, you know, wetland delineation. So I, I think you could almost go out there anytime. Okay. It, it, it almost none of it is woods, so you can probably see it all. Oh, okay. You know, you, you can see it all just standing in the driveway. It's the pond's, you know, the pond's pretty clear. Is any of it staked yet? Uh the wetlands are flagged. That's it. I okay. didn't do too much else. I was just wondering if it was if there was a stake for the for the boundary just so we could see it. Yeah. Um, as as far as where the addition falls. Yeah. Uh, no, but I can have that done prior to. Great. Yeah, um, I think with it being so close, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah I think that's exactly it. It's 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 the distance that's yeah. giving us a little a little churn in our head. Yeah. What I'll stake the um. I'll stake the two right-hand corners, just because that's kind of out of the way of their normal daily activities. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think in, I don't think there's any value to staking the front edges at all. Right. Right. I'll give you that. I'll give you that back corner, and maybe the front right. That, maybe the back right corner and the front right corner, just so you can visualize it. Because the other the other corner is basically the house corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Uh. So I think we all agree that this weekend is not very good. <laughs> but then again, here, wait a minute. Unless we get the full eight inches, then it might be a little tricky. Well, that would be just a little too appropriate to our <laughs> to our habits, wouldn't it? Uh, Rain, snow. Oh, bah. Saturday's going to be nothing. It's just 27. In fact, wait, I don't know, it's, it's like two and a half inches between now and then. 
What? It's not going to snow at all. It's going to get warm and rain. Yeah, in fact, tomorrow is. Oh, tomorrow's going to be 50, yeah. Tomorrow's mm -hmm. just rain. Back. Then this particular app says. Oh, Friday and 50. So, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. What's it saying, Pete? It, it's saying. I don't know why it says an inch on Thursday, because I don't see where the hell there's snow on Thursday. And it says another inch on Friday, which I can believe because there's snow in the morning, tailing off towards dark anyway. Do we just want to go for the 15th next weekend? Let me see. What's oh, no, I have nothing there. So if we want to shoot for the 15th, that's fine with me. Looks me. Yeah, I think so. What time? Ten. Ten. This is two seventy six. Yeah, two seventy six. It's right across the street, Peter, from where we did an RDA for that new house that was built. Yes. It's right across the street. Yeah, right, right across the street, right down by Bigelow. Yeah. All right, there we go. So a site walk on the 15th, hearing on the 18th. Okay. Other questions or Be comments good. from anybody? All right, thanks very much, Mark. All right, thank you, folks. We'll see you. Bye, Mark. Thanks. All right, now I'm going to take stuff out of order since we have a guest to talk about Finn's, Finn Park Road, right? All right. So let's, unless there's an objection, I'm taking it out of order. No objection. Good. Uh, do I even have anything up here? I don't think I do. Um, nope, we don't have anything <coughs> as of yet to work with, I guess you could say. Okay, so um, how do I want to introduce this? The, we were notified by DCR about some work that was taking place on a property and uh, their concern is that it's within the wetlands jurisdictional area and that's why they contacted us. So, um, in fact, let me pull up. Oh, did I close it? I think I did. No, that's the wrong. Oh, that's what's going on. I just don't know what the hell I'm doing some days. As long as you know it, Peter, and that's all that matters. have distance yeah that has distance on it okay so um, this is an overhead view of the property whenever this photo was taken it says 2019 but I'm pretty sure it lies um, no actually I think that's right Peter because that some of that construction was uh, done fairly recently all right so it's, it's probably pretty close. Because that was when we went up there, mm -hmm. the, uh, the oh, points yeah. on the roadway. Right. Uh, so to fill you in, the edge of the wetland is the edge of the pond. And everything within 100 feet of that is Jurisdictional Conservation Commission, which means that things that happen there we, we take an interest in in order to protect the wetlands. That's our, that's our mission. Uh, and so there is a process to go through to, to have us review the work before it's done so that everybody knows it's being done in a way that's safe for the environment around it. <clears throat> Plus that would have to go through DCR as well. There's, there's also that old DCR, but I'm going to ignore DCR. I'm just going to stick to, to ConCom for now. Uh, 
Right. So I'm just saying it from the standpoint of notification. Well, that's true. In terms there was no I notification. I did to talk to anybody. Uh, too. When did you talk to them? Uh, a couple of days ago, yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Adam um, Alan, Rantala? Alan Rantala. Yeah, Alan yep. Rantala. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just take a brief overview of the work that was done, if you don't mind, please, just so we can understand the scope. <laughs> yep. And don't, now, don't get me wrong. We're not the people who say, my God, you broke a rule, so you have to take it up. That's not how we act here, <laughs> okay? Yep. We're trying to keep everything friendly and just do what we need to do to make sure that everything's done for us, okay? Yep. Um, so there may be some paperwork you need to file. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it, but let's at least talk over what you've done and where it is on the property so that we can make sure that it is in fact, whether or not it is in fact jurisdictional at all to this commission. Okay. Okay? Yep. Uh, like right in front of the house, there was an old retaining wall that was there. Okay. And it was all falling like apart. Right falling about here-ish? Yeah, yeah, right about there, yeah. Okay. And it, yeah, it was pretty close to the house. Um, and I just, I replaced it with the, um, the Versa lock. I took all the old stuff out and, and did it, you know, replace what was there. Uh, how far did this wall, because that looks like that might be the edge of the wall from the shadow, I can't be certain. The wall, how far, far it's, it's probably straight up from the house, like right about there somewhere. Okay. What, I don't know, is that, is that just like a shadow or in front of the house, right? Like, <laughs> it, it, I, I'm, I, I'm not sure, oh, oh, do you mean this right here? Because this is, it's orientation. So this is Finn Park Road. There's the pond. So I'm not sure which face yeah, of up, the house. Up there, up there where you were. Right, right, right there, there was, there's a retainer wall right in front of the house. Okay. The camp, whatever. Yeah, yep. right there. And I just, I replaced that. Replaced that. Uh, how far across did it go? Um, I think it was like 50 feet. Okay. So that, that it, would go. It ended oops. like right, right where the house ends. Oh, okay. Not the other end. Oh, it ends over here. Yeah, and then if you come over to the other end, then there, there's a stair stairway that goes up. Yes. Okay. To the driveway. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh that's a stairway right over there. Oh, okay. I think the stairway is either right here or right here. Again, it's pretty much I've right. Got crappy eyes. It's to pretty begin. much. <laughs> it's pretty much right as you walk out the house. Yeah. I, I imagine that would be the door right there, pretty close where you are. Mm -hmm. And then when you walk out, you take a left, and there was a walkway right there. I replaced that walkway and the retaining wall in front of the house. Okay. Um, number one, let's start with. I get it. Some of those walls just don't stand up oh, over time. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah, it was pretty old. Um, and it was falling down. It was pretty dangerous, you know. As far as people walking, you know, on or near you know, it. Yeah. I put, you know, I put, you know, railings up and, mm -hmm. you know, made it look nice anyway. And hopefully, it'll last. A, <laughs> last a, I, I shouldn't say that because nothing lasts forever anymore. Well, that's huh? true. Last for long <laughs> enough. <That's> <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure it'll last another thirty years anyway. Okay. So. Are you the owner or yes. the contract? No, I'm the I'm the owner. Your name is Bob Pasakian. Okay. And did you do the work yourself, or did you have a contractor do it? I did it. You did. Okay. And some a couple friends. Sure. All Peter, right. I don't know if it's helpful, but in the folder from the last meeting, there were some of those pictures that Jen had taken. Yeah, that's true. So I didn't know if that was helpful or not. Give me just a minute. I'll see what I can. Remember where that big. Ditch was there, it had gotten washed out, Peter. Yeah, that's across the road. Right across, across the street. Park. Yeah. No, it's next to it. Remember, Jen was saying that right away, right there is where it leads down to the pond? That. No, no. Oh, different one. Up on the street side, <clears throat> on the other side of the street, there was a runoff issue that eventually got directed alongside of this house. Okay. 
you know, down through here. And then we had an erosion or, or an issue here on the side of the road. I'm assuming this is the road. Yeah, that should be the road. <coughs> I mean, based, based was, on the lines that It was on this side here coming down from the hill up there where the solar farm is behind the uh, Rolling Sportsman. And that water got directed down here, and the ECI got involved with it, a bunch of people got involved with it. <clears throat> Wait, which, what's your name? Joe Dolacola. Dolacola? Yeah. Doesn't ring a bell? From Milbury? You got Joe Dolacola from Milbury? Oh. Huh. You have you property on Denver? Also? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm on the Conco. Oh. <laughs> and it's deceiving. They're out there. Oh, I was, <laughs> They're you know, with us. Because I was brought up in Rutland, so I, I didn't know if you were from Rutland. I, I thought you were probably from Rutland. Dumb of cool. That's, that's I, don't nice. see, I don't see Jen's email sister. on that. Jeannie. Um, Jeannie cool. I, I, I don't remember if I uploaded them to the drive. Yeah, it's probably an email. No, I think I uploaded them to the drive. I don't see them for the last meeting. On the uh, last yeah, one, the last December 21st, I didn't. Because I know we looked at them. Did I forward you the email, Peter? That's probably what it is. I'm starting to hunt for that now. Yeah, I think I must have forwarded it to you. Because that was like a last minute, not on the agenda thing. So mm -hmm. I, that's probably why I didn't have it uploaded. I put up all the cell fence and the round hay bales and all that other stuff pretty much around everywhere that, you know, so that if anything did happen, nothing would go to the into the lake. So, uh, follow it down. Which one of these is yours? That that's one right one? That one right yep. here? Yep. Was this one already there? Yeah, that was, that's been there for a few years. Okay. So that's... I just did that, we just did, uh, we just did that one right there. Okay. And then I got... <clears throat> excuse me. That's the right one. And then I got all, all the silk fence and stuff going all the way back up to the road. Oh, oh you did it all the way up? Yeah, all the way up to the road. From the road, from the road all the way down and then, and then to the house. Right, yes, up around, yeah. Okay. Was there any work done Beyond the house towards the pond at all? No. no. Okay. What was that on the previous slide? What was that little red circle for? Did you see that down in the corner? Yep. You had it. Not on these. I'm no. sorry. Go back one on to this the, one. Yeah. Did you see the circle down there? The eight. A lot number. That? Yeah, that's a lot number. Okay. In development. All right. It wasn't something that somebody. No. Violated. No, no, no. Fine. Okay. All right, because that's parcel ID. That's what that 19 is. Um, other questions from the commission? Is the silk fence, did you take it down already or is it still up? <laughs> Funny thing, I, I <laughs> we had it up and then I I took it down and then I put it back up again <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> I was told that I shouldn't do that. What is the commission's pleasure? Well, the extent of the work is what I'm <clears throat> looking at. This is 130 feet. 
Yes, so, well, that's 130 okay, feet from got, that corner, yeah. Plus, you got all of this. That's all wetland, though. The wetland, the wetland it may not be the edge. It may not be. It might be. Uh, it could be, but practically, for the houses in this area that we've looked at, it's been at the edge. I'm yeah. not going to say it can't be somewhere else. I'm saying yeah. that. No, what I'm saying is on some of these properties, it's a very clear definition between them. The pond itself and the uh, land adjacent. Yeah. It's a, in a very clear definition. So, my question basically, the only question I have is if the extent of the work only comes to here, all right, there's a possibility that we might be uh, outside the 100 foot. Uh, the possibility. It's a, it's without, you know, without. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to just sort of to go off and say, I would do, I would have you do the paperwork that we would normally have had you do. You would have come in and said, we're putting in this wall, we're placing this wall, we'll, we'll you know, agree to erosion controls, and then we would have had you file something called an RDA, which is what we talked about before, the request for determination of applicability, which just says, this is the work, and do we think that you need to go and file lots more paperwork and spend lots of money or not? And we would, I'm just going to take a wild guess here, based on our behavior, our, our, our past performance, this is one of those cases where an RDA, which is the least amount of paperwork that ever needs to be done for these, um, would, would just makes them make the most sense because we don't want to prevent you from doing the work because we see the value in it to yourself. You did the right things for erosion controls fundamentally. At least you put some erosion controls up. Um, and, and that's good. We might have put a condition in there to have slightly different controls, but I'm not going to sweat that. Um, and then we would have a meeting about it and say, yes, it's okay. Here are the conditions. And, and so had the process been followed, we would have just done all of this before you started the work, yeah, I, I, it started. I, 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 I didn't know. Yep. You know, until I was no, notified. Uh, yeah. I, again, I'm not. Know. I'm not trying to make a big, a big deal out of this because I don't think it is a big deal. When work takes place, if we know about it in advance, then we can answer questions <laughs> when they come to us the first time. Um, I, I, understand. Lots of people don't understand conservation rules or DCR rules and what, and what we have to do. So, so. Any probably ha anybody have an objection to doing an RDA for this? No. No. All right. Um, I'm going to have you reach out to Tamika so that she can help you fill out that form and get it to us so that next meeting mm -hmm. We can have the official meeting about you doing the work that you've already done. Do we want to go out and look at that while we're? It can't hurt since we're good. Since that's in two weeks, if you don't mind, we. Oh no, not at all. I think that would be helpful. Yeah. So why don't we plan for that on that's next true. Saturday, same date as is just we'll do this. We'll come by. We'll go to the other site, take a look at it, and we'll come to this. You know, on Pomagasa that we were just talking about a little bit ago. Then we'll come out and look at this, look at the work that's been done, and see what's going on. And, and see if we have any other questions or comments or concerns. Sounds good. So probably about 10, 30, 11. Yeah, 11 ish. Yeah, 11 ish. In case you're not there. You're right. Um, when, was you, when was you going to go out? We'll go out a week from Saturday. Oh. So the 15th. I mean, if you want me to be there, I could be there. It's, just, it's, just, it's my summer house. Oh, it's, okay. It's good to be there. Okay. That'll be fine. Oh, yeah, if a question comes up. Yeah, sure. We don't have to wait to. Wait till the right. meeting to, yeah. to get it. Address it right there. Yeah, just give me a date and a time, and I can, I can be there. The 15th at, at 10 30, 11 o'clock. Okay. Probably 10 30. I mean, I yeah. haven't seen you. Yeah, because just, that long. yeah, Tom, I got some shit. Once we don't chat, we'll be in and out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then we're too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You stand there and go, oh, that's a nice view. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, we may spend longer looking at the pond. I know, when I go out there, I don't like to leave either. But <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So, Bob, I know that you don't do a lot of email and things like that. So, 
I'll just tell you now while you're here. I'm going to need a check from you. It's just $35 payable to the Telegram and Gazette. And that's going to be for the cost because we have to advertise this in the newspaper. So that's the only cost associated with it. And then I will help you out with the form, getting that taken care of. So you can either bring the check to the meeting, to the site walk, you can mail it to town hall, whatever is easiest for you. Yeah. Okay. Or if you want, I can give it to you. want me to give it to you when I meet up with you? That's fine. Yeah, you can bring it oh, to the site walk. Oh, you want to give it to you now? It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter. Really, I can give it to you now. Yeah. You know, if you, you, know, if yeah. you have the ability sure. to do that, that would make yeah. it much easier. No problem. Okay, perfect. And then I'll help you with the, the paperwork part That'd of it. That would be great. Okay. Thank you. No problem. So that's, that's what we'll need to do. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Anything else? No, I think we're all set. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. So, so that's the, what, did, what was the date? 15th. 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 Well, I closed 16th at 10.30. All righty. All right, let's back up and talk about the conservation restriction for Maple Hill Estates. All I can say, I can start with this. Uh, How do you spell that? Yeah. That's a tough one. I think that one started with an E. Right? There's a lot of G's in that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my, as near as I can tell, Remember the work that we did reviewing it and sending him off? They didn't use it. Awesome. They didn't use our version at all. Which means that as far as I'm concerned, it's never been reviewed by town council. That was my question. Would be that it's come from... Um, from George. Okay. George Carizzi, yeah, yeah. the attorney. And I like how, the, yeah, because the only red which was supposed to be the changes was just the parcels, but there was stuff taken out. Yes, there was, yeah, there's stuff taken out even from their previous revision. Tamika put yeah. up, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, Tamika, but, uh, where is that? Final CR. So this is the one that was just sent in to us. Well, I just want to go and point out that the, the red text, which has very little. Because I took some time to compare this with, oh, sorry, this one that's labeled original CR. Is the original CR the original one from Lee and George? No, it has no one we edited because it had the boundary markers in it. Was she the one that was working at A and B in the waitress? Yeah, okay, so you're right. So this one is ours. Yeah. Yep. From February last year. Yeah. But this really does not align very well with what's in this. Because nothing about boundary markers. Oh, okay. Doesn't say con anymore. Right. And and I went uh, let me see if I can find that. Here we are. This is the one we submitted to him that's redlined. And if I could stop hitting the wrong button. So when it, when it starts badly, things don't go well. When it starts by not having acting by and through its conservation commission at per the state template, I begin to get concerned because that's not that's not here at all, just like in his original. So, I have not done a hardcore word-for-word -word comparison. Yeah. I did... I did it quickly today. Yeah, I did it fairly quickly, and I, I just saw so many changes that I don't know what to think now. So I'm not sure what we collectively should do. I, my suggestion is sending back our red line version and say we have noticed um, a number of discrepancies and we would like either you to incorporate the differences or explain why they were. Why they shouldn't have it, yeah, okay. Because the things that are different aren't that 
astronomical. Um, so the properties changes, they just didn't include like under the um, purposes we yeah. had local government because it was in our yeah, right. space thing. It, it doesn't bother with no. it up, but it just. But then the whole paragraph following is maybe different. <laughs> I think there was one thing that was a little bit different, but they kind of took some of the violation. Um, yeah, and and, out. and equally concerning to me is the fact that our attorney made corrections, and those were not incorporated. Mm -hmm. So I, I, so we had comments, town council had comments, none of that has been incorporated in this. Yeah, I would, I would say not comments. Changes. changes. Okay. We had. Yeah. Okay. We proposed. We and town council proposed changes that were not incorporated. Yeah. And that is concerning. So as yeah. Melissa suggests, we should maybe find out. Did he lose it and forget about it? Did he? He George. Did. I. I it got lost in translation. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think that's. Only thing we could do at this point. I think so because because the alternative is that we have to re-review, think about how much we want our changes, and then when town council s makes suggestions, we're going to fight for them. Mm -hmm. Period. So we need we we need to understand why the changes weren't incorporated. I think the biggest thing for us that we wanted was the boundary markers. That was really the yes, I think that's the only part. important, yeah. big important yeah. change. Uh, um, if when I go to this guy and I look for Richard, uh, let me unzoom a little bit because I need the change bars. And I don't know if the grantor's title changes now that they changed some property lines. It shouldn't. The grantor should not change because oh. it all has to be yeah. owned. In mm -hmm. fact, it all has to be owned yeah. by CB Blur Development Corp or whatever the corporation. I name forgot is. about the baseline. So I think yeah, this is even more recent than February, the one that's uploaded. Because the baseline isn't in the original one on the Dropbox drive. Right. There are other baseline things that got ed that that were not incorporated. Yeah. Either. I'm just saying. I think the um. The one that we have uploaded as the original CR, I don't think has any. Oh no, it does. Yeah, I mean, again, there's a lot of language here the town council put in for all of this, and when it starts to vary from that, then we need to go back. I don't, I don't want it to go back through, through. Well, we'd have the same comments essentially, right? Yeah. Because they pretty much reverted to what we originally had, and right. the first first draft. Yes. Because so we would say, okay, comments still remain. <laughs> Shall we resend this? Comment yes, to them? Uh, this this will. Oh, hold on, let me find out. I'm going to go back to the email thing to see exactly. Uh, that one can close. Right, this is the email I sent out, but I don't know, is this CONCOM by... Okay, so I sent it to conservation. So this is in the conservation on February 9, 2021. So if I'm ready, is it still in the inbox? Do you have a preference of whether or not the email comes from you or from me or just the concom? Do you feel this strongly about from, it? This one came from no, me. No, but I mean the next one that we send to them. Do oh, you feel should strongly come from one way or the other? From, okay, it's okay for me to do that then. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Uh, scroll, scroll. Uh-oh. Oh, this does not go very far back in time. What's going on? Yeah. All right. I will therefore merely forward yeah. this. Oh, it looks like you sent it from your address, but you CC'd ConCom. 
Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So it should have been. It, it should I don't still see be there it somewhere. in the ConCom inbox. So I'm just going to send another copy off. Okay. So it should be there any time now. Okay. Oh, let me do this because I didn't do that. Shame on. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. First, cancel that. Hold on. Because the thing that I realized I'm not doing anymore. Oh, good. Is <laughs> I had closed one of the one of the Zoom windows, so it wasn't seeing if anybody was trying oh. to get in. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So wait a minute. I'm sure people are lining up to get into this. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, this is <laughs> fascinating <laughs> stuff. <laughs> We're just a hot ticket over here. We are. Uh, Scott doesn't know what he's missing. I know. In Mexico, really? <laughs> I wonder, did I send it to <laughs> Who sent it? No, I don't understand, because now it's not in any box of mine or yours. I have told you today how much I hate computers. Um, Let's try again. I know this is exciting watching me <laughs> do work, isn't it? This is just Well, we can't see 70% of what you're doing, so that's, <laughs> that's probably the best yeah. part. We're just in phantom land. To con send. I don't know how you do that with so many big screens versus. The properties of this message. Yeah, I can't do it. I have three screens of them. Yeah, I need them all visible right, at any given time. No, I do. These, I like, do that. put it up there and then it's gone. Yeah. Like, how do you do that? <laughs> It still confused me when I have to run yeah. in there. I'm like, Peter, I don't know like, where <laughs> I put it. Uh -oh. To there. Drag it. What do you mean, drag it? Drag it to where? The hard part is yes, that I have fact, to. I've apparently sent it twice, and it's taking its own sweet time. I did get the first one. OK. Yep. Oh, all right. The hard part is when I have to end the Zoom meeting on the screen, but people are sitting there, so I have to like ask them to duck their heads <laughs> so I can see <laughs> where the end <laughs> button is. Can you please point out the end button? Right. <laughs> Or when I turn off that screen so you can't see it anymore. Uh, right, and then I can't like, get in the meeting. Uh, okay, so you understand the letter? I do. Anything else we want to say in it? I don't think so. It's pretty simple, I think. Yeah. <laughs> all right, then let's close all this CR stuff. Um, let's carry it forward, although there is, there is another question. Um, so let's ignore the fact that they didn't put in any of the encumbrances that I asked them to. But we may, uh, actually I think we should get an update on the rights of way across this and this property. I don't know if that's the same property anymore. I think that one is the same. So we need two rights of way because this property is changing hands. That's, that's the fence location. And that can't be in conservation land, which is why they split it into 1A, 1B. And if we don't have, if we don't have an easement, then we can't cross this fence and we can't cross that fence to get onto the two properties. Great. So I'd, I'd, like a, I'd like to understand, I'd like to get an update on the... Is it two or three? Is it that big part two? Uh, yes, Bottom. that's true. So yeah. you're right, we need three rights of way. One here, one here, okay. and one 
here or somewhere uh, somewhere yeah. it, we, but we definitely we, uh, right because this is parcel two so it's three parcels and they're all cut off from one another so we have to have rights of way so we'd like to get a status on that is that also a question for George or just Clay? do you think should oh, I it's be both. include that in the same in fact, communication George George is the person who has to put it into the deed when it gets transferred, when those properties get transferred. Okay. Um, and yes, I asked Clee for that, and he agreed to it, but that was a hallway conversation. We don't have paper on it. Yes. better build the fence with a gate <laughs> or two or three mm -hmm. get your springs on all right what's next on our agenda oh Bryce Lemon estate has anybody visited I have not. Scott I and I went over what's that Scott you and I Scott went over. over all right yeah the tension basin is not what what was once presented as a detention base. <laughs> Significant modification. Uh, don't know where any drawings are. So I sent, shortly after Tamika sent her message nagging them for this information, I decided to make it a little more formal. Still no stormwater plan, though. That's right. So I've, I've asked again. I did too. Where the heck is the stormwater plan? And any of the regularly required reports? And we don't have anything. Right. Part of the superseding order of conditions was to do those reports copied to us as well as the EP and DCR, I believe. Uh, uh, maybe, just because maybe. there's a superseding order of conditions uh, doesn't mean we don't have jurisdiction. Um, Tamika, do you have Gary Delmain's email? Mm -hmm. Email him, ask me if he's gotten anything. Because he's, he's the DEP rep that we've dealt with mm -hmm. every time I've been out there. <coughs> that, well, what DEP's been there too. Mm -hmm. So, Let's see if he's got anything on Bryce Lemon. Yeah, because that should be included in part of the stormwater, number one. Yeah. And they're looking to get the street accepted. I don't know how we can accept the street without the stormwater. Well, they're going to do the street without the stormwater because they're moving the stormwater to phase four. Right, but the stormwater, that detention basin serves, services the street that they're looking for us to accept. But it also, so services, the, it also services the stuff that's uphill right. that isn't done yet. The town can accept the road without the stormwater. Yeah, exactly. They can do without that appurtenance. That would it'd still remain with the developer. It just makes things tough to get done later yeah, on. Oh, no, no question. But that's... That's their decision. That's, their, that's not our call. Right, yeah. that's true. The required reports through the superseding order, was that for regular maintenance? Yeah, yeah what's happening like with that? the stormwater? Is evaluation and, yeah. and reporting on the performance? That, I, I assume they have a NIPTES permit, it's a too. Yeah. It's also required oh, yeah. through that as well. Yeah. And that's through the EPA. So there's I, multiple requirements. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to get the, the feds involved in this. If well, no. <laughs> well, you'd be lucky too, because that doesn't happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's that. Not New England. No. Rutland. Where the hell is Rutland? Yeah. Rutland, Vermont. <laughs> Vermont. <laughs> yeah, because there's one guy that does most of New England. Yeah. 
crazy. So um, I guess we just carry this forward because I don't know what else to do with it. Yeah, I forget what Tom said in his email. I think it's basically just a repeat of what Jen had told us. It's about pretty much cleaning. it, that they yeah. cleaned up, that DCRs, you know, no water was discharged as per their best sponge pool. It was restoned, okay. Uh, did you, Joe, did you and Scott look before or after the plunge pool was restoned? And, and additional erosion controls, okay. Before. And this was sent which date? 1230, okay, so they had just started. So I don't know how, where they are in cleaning. Uh, man, it's gonna get out there. It's gonna be tough to get out there before the snow. Because I'm not gonna bring the lights this Well, it's easy access. I mean, it's right on, right on the road. Oh yeah. Right on the road. No, no, it's not that. I'm just thinking. Just see it. See, it's gonna be snowing. Early tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh no, that's rain. Okay, oh, rain good. is easy. Oh, rain is. It's gonna be fifty tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, I just got Finley back to school. Let's yes. not start snowing. No, no, there's it gonna be lots of no rain quiet. tomorrow. So yeah. at least we'll be able to see it. In fact, we'll be able to see it in action, which might not be a bad thing. Yeah. Just bring your boots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't wear. I don't wear waders anymore. I got sucked in. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> so whoever can make it out there to look at it, that'd be great. Yeah, you want to pay attention. If you go out there, pay attention to the, when you're standing at the detention basin, back to the road, mm -hmm. to the right side, and going up. Yeah, when it goes yeah. up, yeah. That's all, that, that's all additional. Right. The detention basin was originally designed just to handle that law. It was I just guess like the other stuff got added on. Before. Say that again? It's like a little kidney bean before, and now it's like a mutated kidney bean. <laughs> well, it's, now it's a kidney bean with, eerie, with the Erie Canal growing into it. <laughs> with a cancerous lesion that yeah. spins out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, an occasional swimmer. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, let's go to our absolute favorite property in town. <laughs> Which Not does. even in town, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the part that's in town that we Close care enough. about. Mm. Um, all right. Have we read this report? And what do we think of it? Do we agree or disagree with the assertions about applicability to uh, watershed and wetlands? Well, never mind watershed. Watershed is not our concern. Do we agree with their assertion that the land is not subject to wetlands protection? Mm. It's hard to determine since we haven't independently reviewed. Hmm. We don't know where he took the testing like the approximate locations even. He had put the map at the end, but it was just kind of an arrow. Tell me where I am, please. 
you got a ghost one. Yeah. I was going to say that's going to be. Yeah, that's maple, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Maple. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. I want to start dragging it down. Yeah, because it wants to. It goes over. No, it's not that way. Is that conventional no, grading right there? <coughs> Oh, I had too far. Yeah, the it's closer to where like those cul-de-sacs are on the right hand side, I think. Because that's all those neighborhoods off the of central tree. Right. What I'm looking for now, actually. It's a little bit further. Come on, tell me who you are. I'm isn't pointing at somebody. Isn't that Glenwood right there? Oh yeah, and that's gonna be Wheeler. No, that's not Wheeler, but anyway. It should have been, there should be a longer road for Central Tree. <laughs> yeah, I think you're Yeah, that's this one here. <laughs> that's that one right there. Yeah, that's it. That's Central Tree. There it is. The finga. There it is. All the way no. to the right. Keep going. Keep going? Yeah. Right there. Right the finga. That's it right there. Why aren't you playing Identify? With I know, that's weird. Hmm. All right, this is just confused, but this it's is probably the probably too zoomed out. If you zoom in a little bit more, maybe it'll... It's starved. <laughs> I don't know, Joe. I've never seen it zoom in that far, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's also, because right I'm finger. here, no, I don't want to measure, yeah, I want to uh, get back to... The no, you're right, because those, yeah. In any event, we know we're in the right area. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and I yes. think... That's 91 Central Tree right there. This one right here. That one right there. I just right, because I was going to say this is the one, this this is over the line. Right, yeah. that's their house. Yeah. yeah. I think I've turned off all the useful information on this damn map. But, but in any event, Paul McManus did test for us. Yeah. And his test boards came up non hydric. There was some. No, hydric. they were hydric. There were some hydric, yep. Okay, so that does put it as a wetland. But all I'm looking at there is, you know, primary and secondary protection zones. Right, that's all that this map shows. Yeah, which well, is not and even then, early. Yeah. It doesn't mean there's wetlands there or there isn't wetlands no, there. No, I, I agree, but if we look at. The reports does. Page two. Uh, I want page two. There we go. Yeah. But within the lowest portion of the subject area, reserve low chroma hydric soils near the southwest fence line. I'm not sure what that means. Extending northeast for approximately 45 feet. I think that's our biggest problem, is we just have no idea where these re references and landmarks yeah, are, because yeah. we've never been there. And the sketch included is very general, Yeah. very general. I'm reading this as Paul identified a narrow area that had hydric soils. Yeah. Now he doesn't come out and say definitively that it's a bordering vegetative wetland, but he says if the bordering criterion is met, then in his opinion, this would be designated as BBW. Mm -hmm. But he didn't say for sure that it connects to, I don't want to call it a pond, because it's not a pond, but there's a small water body that he references. Oh, where was that? Small ponding area. Yes, that's <laughs> it. Like well, even made then, made he, he even says this area of hydric soils qualifies for BB, as BBW. Mm. No, if the... If the bordering oh, criterion yeah. is yeah. met, in my opinion, the area would qualify for BB, as a BBW. But if there's a lack of continuous wetland... Right, from but that you area go on the abutting property to yeah. see whether yeah. or not it... Exactly. 
So, I mean, again, my interpretation of this is that from the property line for about 45 feet through a narrow band, however you define that, it's hydric soils. Yeah. All right, but I think what he's saying there is it's not a pond, so we take that off the table. Yeah. And because it's a narrow band, 45 feet, the way he's describing it, that he probably under the square footage. But he only went as far as the property line. He never yes. entered the abutters' no. property no. to see how big the area is. And there's no minimum requirement yeah. for BBW area. There's nothing that's too small as long as it's bordering. Right. But again, he's saying too, if there's a connection, right, a <clears throat> hydraulic connection. And well, the problem is he doesn't know if there's a hydrologic no, connection because he never went on the abutter's property. Right. Okay, can we, so get, can we get access to the abutter's property? Possibly. We Probably. Can ask. You know, now the abutter isn't holding, right? No, no the abutter's in Rutland. Oh, okay, even better. I was going to say, if we can, you know, have Holden and Kong Kong walk us out there. But oh, the, oh, yeah. Case, well, uh, the house itself is the, the the house is in Holden. Their house is in Holden. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the, the so let's go, hold on, right. let's go back to Who's the above? this map. No. <laughs> this this house is in Rutland. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't yeah. know the person hey. hey it's starting to work again. Yeah. And my good it's good news is nice. I know somebody right. who knows these people who thinks that we could get cooperation from them to just visit the site so that we could, I mean, I hate to act as a wetland scientist here, but... But at least we'd get a little bit closer to what we're looking We at. could actually, if we could get right here to this <laughs> property line... Yeah. Yeah, you can answer your questions. Yeah. yeah. I think, you know, barring anything else, I mean... My gut sense, I'll be honest with you, is this, this is more of a DCI problem than it is a CONCOM problem. So if we can get, you know, if these folks would allow us, What's the worst they can taste? No. <laughs> We've heard no before. Yeah. Just back We've to been refused. One. Is it only helpful to get access from that property? Would it there be any benefit to getting access from this property, Lot 8? Uh, no, because this okay. I, I'm pretty sure that this is the area yeah. okay. that he's point that he's pointing out. I would bet that this is the area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if we can get to that back property line, these folks back property line then. Can you drag that down a little bit, Peter? Like that? Yeah. Isn't that part of the uh, fields around the uh, water tower, a water sewer treatment plant? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be too well, Here, let's, let's zoom out a little bit. Because that was one of the Yeah, because that's got to be Muscapog right there, right? Yep. Yeah. And... They have, no. I think their property line goes up to the pond. Yeah. Yes, there, so this, yeah. yeah, this whole area is her property, mm -hmm. or their property. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the tank is up. Yep. And the tanks are up here, right? Up even further. I think it should be able to see them. I'm a little surprised I can't. Oh, right there they are. They're yeah. way over here. All right. I will uh, reach out to see if we can get access to the Butters property, which is something we probably should have done a couple of months ago. But It takes a little bit for us to remember. Well, we weren't thinking along these lines yeah. Yeah. a couple months ago. It's, it's, a, it's as a result of what yeah. what Paul is saying. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say we have 
better evidence if we do see a channel then we have this report to also back up that there's hydric soils on the other side too. And the, the other thing is, I mean, well actually, I this doesn't have Holden property lines. So I don't know if this is part of the Somerset's house, which is part of this yeah. property. I can check. Hold on. Yeah, I'm a map is. mapper. Um, Gina Rohde owns that little triangle. Who does? Sorry. Gina at 91. Yeah. Oh, I can't get that. Okay. Don't you see that dotted line there? That's the town. Oh, okay. So it's yeah. the same. Yeah, right. Their so properties. these people own this property. So yep. that really is. Yep. So, so I was just wondering if Paul just didn't go down here. But it's if it's not the property, I get it. Yeah. I completely understand that. All right, I will, I will reach out. And see what we can schedule it. Maybe there'll be a third thing to do next Saturday. <laughs> Although I'm afraid that there's too much snow. I don't know if it's gonna keep being 50. Yeah, it's not, yeah we know it's not. <laughs> Let's not manifest that snow, though. Let's think <laughs> warm thoughts. I'm ready for snow. <laughs> All right. I think that's our plan. Anything else on this? No. no. Put you away. Get rid of you. Uh -oh. uh, we're going to come back to bylaw regulations in a couple minutes, and we won't spend a lot of time on that tonight. Let me make that clear. <laughs> this well, I can is my, hear my stomach I've, growling from here. <laughs> I've been away from work since December 3. December 3 was my last day of work. So this week is a tough week for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doing that whole getting up early. I know you farmers are laughing at me, but still. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so I'm car and RD for 26 Grizzly Drive. So we have a photo here. Yes. So Tamika, why don't you? Oh, that's right. This is the site. This we one we've visited. already issued. So right. I received a call from the homeowner, Angela, and one of the special conditions with the RDA was a double silt fence. And out now that the foliage is gone and they've gone back there, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the fence that Clee had put in, yeah. the silt fence there. So she wanted to know if the commission would allow them to remove that fence, put in a new one with the straw wattles, but not have to do a double one because they're trying to save some money on that so they were just so she took this picture from her second floor just so you could kind of see where the edge of yes. the slope was uh, so I what was this project <laughs> this one is their 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 backyard. Backyard. making their backyard a little larger so that they okay. can put in a pool <laughs> a small pool that's covered and fancy and comes in as a cast concrete block rather than, anyway. Oh, uh, she said cool. they're going at about 20 feet. Um, so she said the, the existing cell fence that's there was not straight. It was kind of woven in behind the trees. So yeah. they are proposing to remove that, put in a new one, but just asked if they could not have to do a double one. Because they're um, going through a company specific to this, like Eric Wollander is not doing that as part of the job, so they're just trying to save a little money. So why did we condition a double on that one? Just trying to remember. I have no recollection. I don't know if I was here at that meeting. To be honest. We could pull up the minutes. Did we condition the a double on it? We issued I it remember Jared talking November. about it. What, did I ask for that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, hold well, on. Look. Until I have minutes to say, guys, you're taking hit. the blame. Did you find it? What was it? So. It was, it was November, November 2nd. Second. Yep, because I think we issued it. No, I think no. we issued it on the 18th. You're right. Okay, hold on. Or no, hold not please. the 18th. That wouldn't make sense. Of last year? Yes, 2021. This was just a couple yeah, months ago. Oh, where was I? What, 16 November? Oh, was that when I was in Florida? That might have been. I think <coughs> it was, yeah. yeah was, just, that, was that the meeting where we did it or the meeting where we... Where we the meeting that you issued it was, oh, I believe, the 
15th. So it would be December the minutes and just then the December box then. Yeah. Okay, fair yeah. point. Okay. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's see. So that would be 7 December if I can. 67. No, it's not there either. A. Bernard, 67 Wachusett. 18 Grizzly? No. Nope, 26, so it must be prior to that then. Okay, we're going back to November. I know it was issued in November, I just don't remember which one. It's all good. November 16th. Might have been first meeting in November. Yeah, yeah, 26. Um, let's see. Yeah, commission added two special conditions today and that a double row of silk fence shall be installed at the limit of work and then be notified and inspect the erosion controls. That was it. I'd be willing to let them go with a single. That's all it was in the beginning. Um, is it because they're so close to the wetland? Is that why it was put in? Because if I remember right, the wetland is not very far from the toe. It's the only thing I can think of. No, the wetland was was not far from the house, but it was over on the right side where they're not doing the work. The wetland was going over by the bridge. I remember that. Here, let's do right, this. Straight back where they're talking about going. Uh, the wetland was further back. What's the address on this? 26. 26. <coughs> Is it really 26? Do I really have 26 times? No, you wrote 36. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so it's not back there. Yeah, that's what I thought. There is wetland all back here. But it's not real close. Uh, we went walking back in here. That's where I sliced yeah. my hand up. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I think part of her argument was that Clee built the house with just the one silt fence, so yeah. she was just questioning why they would need a double silt fence. Are they moving the riprap in back? Yes. Yes. That's all getting pushed out about. They're the they're, they're extending, and so they're ex they're trying to push back this corner, this set of yes. their property back this away. Okay. So they're they're extending. Putting a lot of fill and extending yeah. basically the toe of the slope the same distance as the yeah. as what they're extending, which so their their fence right now is like ten feet. Yeah, their fence is like seventy-ish feet from the wetlands based on GIS. So if they're pushing out twenty feet, that put it about fifty feet from the wetlands. What were they requesting, Tamika? Was it to do a single silt fence straw with waddles. with straw wattles? She didn't mention the straw wattles. Okay. Um, she just it was specifically asked about the fence. Okay. But we can certainly. Once that. you get down off that slope, it's it's not that steep anymore. At, at the bottom. Yeah. It was pretty flat at the bottom. Yeah, you're right. Because so the toes. I mean, I'll bet that's. That's that's the toe. And it was the, right where those big trees were. Yeah, so it's going to be... I mean, if I were to just sort of... It's almost exactly 50 feet today, the toe of the slope. So they're going to be about 25. Yeah. So they'll be about 20, yeah, 25, 25 30-ish, something like 30 that. in that range. Given that I don't have a lot of heartbreak, heart, a lot of heartache doing a single layer. The way I look at it is if you do the double, it just protects them. Yeah. Because if anything happens with the first row, you've got the second row. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Th that, be, that being said, they're not they're not building like, you know, a brand new house here. They're just pushing the slope out. So yeah. yes, there's some earthwork, but not a m massive amount going on. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of on the same page that I, I think I think we asked for the double because of the proximity. But it doesn't mean that they couldn't do a single row. As long as they maintain it properly, it mm -hmm. should still be okay. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we also can't forget 
that's not a real wetland line. Uh, yes. I'm not right. going to do that. So, um, so the right question for me to ask here is: Do we ish, do we issue different orders that allow for a single row? What's the right you, process? You for can us just do an do amendment. This? Well, you know, it's an RDA. It's so an RDA. You just have to need to issue a letter saying the commission yeah. approved. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we'll have the record of the minutes from tonight, and I that should be enough, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you want waddles too, or just the fence? You'd say waddles preferred. I. Okay. If it were my preference, I would say a silt fence with straw waddles. I think that would be a good idea. Again, a lot of times roche controls are really to make sure that there's less headaches for the contractor yeah. and the owner. Mm -hmm. And it just avoids, because if there's an issue, they're just going to have to deal with cleaning it up or reinstalling silt fence or whatever it might be. Why well, look? It's printing all the state's connection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually got a question today from planning board asking why did we want them to put in four culverts, four box culverts for this crossing? We did? Yes. It's because there is no actual defined stream here. Mm -hmm. This is the one that didn't have a defined stream, so it turns into surface flow. Uh -oh. And we wanted to maintain the width of the flow. And they don't want a bridge. And, and nobody wants a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so it's four box culverts? Yeah, so that's what they're putting in is four culverts. I thought they were doing four over there. That's, oh. what, that's the number I heard this morning. Huh. But. Who suggested four? I don't, we didn't suggest four. We just said no it needs to be open enough for, that. that's basically the way that they designed it with this, treating it kind of like a really wide stream is how they, dis, is how yeah. the culvert system, you know, that, that crossing was designed. Yeah, yeah. well the other, the other thing that gets, you gotta look at is if they did a single, for argument's sake, in the middle, Yeah. Mm -hmm. for argument's sake, then you have, you've already got this taking here. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you put one single here, now you got this taking, and yeah. this taking, and this, and this. All right, so you're taking that many more square feet. Yeah. You could potentially trip, you know, th another threshold. Mm -hmm. If you were gonna settle for something less than four, I put one here and here, right on the edges. Yeah. The middle is gonna fill in by itself. But I think you need to maintain some connection between one and the other, mm -hmm. so you don't destroy it. You know, like this one might get destroyed. Right. You know, so you got to maintain a connection. If there's an argument because of cost or maintenance or no, whatever. No, no. Well, I mean, really, the question two, was, you know, one hand, one hand. what was Concom thinking? Because they didn't, they didn't, they planning board had no notion about any of our discussions. <coughs> Which brought up the whole, how the heck should we, should boards intercommunicate so that some of this doesn't have to get lost in time? Was, did, wouldn't their plans have gone back to planning board for review? Yeah. Right? Yeah. They should have. So they should have seen the plans. Yeah. Yeah, but, do they, yeah, but they don't look well, at that. It, it still That's would have been on the subdivision design. But the this question is, why, is, this is why I say the contract is I don't look at my plans. That's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been the, the engineers. That would have been the engineer. Yeah. Not us. Oh, oh, choosing the four colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the design engineer that makes that choice. Yeah. yeah. So their question is not to us. Their question should be to the design engineer. Right. Because yeah. loosely defined, the only thing that the ConCom said was to maintain the width. Mm -hmm. There's ways of doing that, you know. Yeah. Help I mean, the engineer is an engineer. I mean, he's going to design the way, the way he thinks it's best. Sure. Meet the regs and show us how. That's right. So that yes. question is better phrased for the engineer, not. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not necessarily for the Congo. Okay. So you understand the letter you're going to write to that one, right, Tamika? Yes. You. Nice. Uh, so. We got one other piece of correspondence from the town planner today. 
<laughs> Did we as a group talk about the car wash? Mm -hmm. Nope. Because I don't think there are any wetland things. Because, here, let me we'll go back to this and then go to... Uh, oh, wait a second. What's the We're right going address? on a field trip again. <laughs> What's that? We're going yeah, on a right. field Road trip. trip. <laughs> you got to find it. 13 pomegranates. So rather than dragging everything around... Nope, it's that one. Third one. Oh, I missed one, didn't nope, I? Nope, one more. Yeah, that nope, one. That yeah. one. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm blind and it's fuzzy I and I just here. don't see it. Okay. So, uh, Century Oil, Devereaux Garage, with a um, car wash going right here with an entrance and a pull through and an exit and some extra parking. I've got plans somewhere for it. Um, I just widen one. out a little bit. <laughs> Is that a single lane car? Yeah, right. Two bays. Oh. Wow. Uh, yes, yeah, two bays, that's right. And wow. vacuums. Sure. And no, I'm not convinced it's going to work, but that's not my domain. <laughs> so. <laughs> Who wants the car wash? Stitson. Yeah. The Stitson family. Uh, as you can see, there ain't no wetlands here. No. And if I zoom out far enough to see wetlands, <coughs> well, we have to wait for it to paint, so never mind. <laughs> They're a long way away. Yeah. So yeah, there's something yet? way the hell up here. Yeah, I have plans yeah. somewhere. Uh, here, let me see if I can... Let me see how long it'll take me to find them. That's the DPW building just to the north, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So GIS is showing, I don't know how real this is, it's showing some sort of linear resource area running right along the west edge of the DPW property. That's Which sounds right. That's still pretty far, though. Yeah. It's very far. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a rough measurement. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So, in fact, <coughs> I mean, here, let's, let's get out of CONCOM jurisdiction completely. Part of a lot of making this work is they're going to lease some, sp some of these parking spaces or, or get permission to use the parking spaces from the rectory of the church. Yeah. That's what mm -hmm. this whole thing is all about. So, I guess I put it in the wrong place. The two lanes come in here. Oh, I see. No, what? there's one here and one here, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. So you come in on the north side of the You side. come in on the northern side. That's correct. Got it. Come through, clean out. Then there'll be vacuums and stuff over here, I think. I guess I'm not certain this is the latest plan. This doesn't look exactly like what I've seen, but I think it gives a good idea. Oh, I think the back system it says is going to be along uh, that, the, like the that wall edge. that, or what's going to be the wall where like there's riprap right now. I think. No, you see that thick. Th yeah. The, the spaces are numbered. They're yeah. putting in erosion control lines. No, oh, right here it says back back system. Oh, that's going up in the church side. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. fine. It's unclear what this line is. Topo. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, why is that one? Oh, that's just it's a, a deep. Probably it's, a 10 it's marker. A, yeah, a 10, it's an index. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Line. A 10 marker. So, they're, they're... I'll look, but I can easily send a letter saying, Conservation Commission has no comment on this application. Actually, <laughs> I can have Tamika send that. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> so that way it gets done <laughs> soon. Yep, we're just going to make the traffic a whole lot better in the summer. 
<laughs> yeah, another line. Actually, a double line of cars going in. Actually, it should be a. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how they're going to do it. They're, they had, quest. They planning board had questions about the lay of the land and how it's really going to get in and what happens when this backs up down to here. Right. Although this has a fair number of cars, space for cars, this driveway. Uh, <coughs> you know, the day after mud, the yeah. day after. There are lots of days that, that I think that may fill up. Yeah. Depending, on, It depends on how popular it gets. It but I know that when my wife says, oh boy, a car wash, <laughs> I say, I, they're going to get some business. <laughs> On car washes, they have to go around the back of the site and then through. No. It, it keeps the queuing line the longest. Yeah, yeah. So it keeps mm -hmm. it off the road. This site's just so small, it's hard to do that here. Yeah. yeah and in <laughs> fact, they don't really have a ton of land because no. of where the. No, unless they were going to fill all this and put in wall, even more walls and stuff. Oh, it's yeah. even less than an acre. 0.72. Yeah. yeah well. Don't even get quarters. Yeah, that, that's, that's not a big piece of land. No, and no. they have got. My gosh, they have a lot of stuff on there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good for them. Very no lawns to mow. Very space, no, space no, efficient. Efficient, excuse me. Yeah. yeah, I don't see why we have anything to do with that. No, I don't think we do. So, and I think I just didn't say anything because I had nothing to say. Mm -hmm. And I actually think I told that to Dave. But should have sent paper, no doubt about it. So to me, I'll let you. He likes just formality, so I'll send a. <laughs> yep. I'll let you send a paper. <laughs> oh look, here's another engineer who ran out of time, or actually didn't run out of time, who's extended by virtue of COVID. Well, I think that's just when they stamped it. Oh, that's when they stamped it? That's not their expiration date? Nope. No, the expiration's inside the seal. Well, it it be. No, it's not anymore. You have to look it up. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, well, it's easy enough to look up. You can just look up the number. Yeah, the expiration's not on the stamp. It's on, you get a little piece of paper with your stamp, and it's on that. And if you don't laminate it, you'll lose it? Mm-hmm. You can anyway. get that up online. Is he, is he related to Julian? Same yeah, it's his son. son. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, that's the plan. Apparently they're meeting on it next week. Mm -hmm. So, that's it for that. Um, as I said, I don't want to spend a lot of time on, not only do I not want to, but we don't have a lot of time to spend on bylaw and regulations. Yes, sir. I just would like to ask a question that you were at the last selectman meeting. Uh huh. RDIC says that Harbor Homes cannot get any type of answer from DCR or any of them people for that excess road coming out of there? Uh, I can understand that DCR is not highly responsive. That's not the first time I've heard that. No, no, they said they would not respond. That's what was what? said. What? DCR said they Sullivan. wouldn't respond? That doesn't sound right. No, without the. Um, oh, until they get a definitive, definitive plan. plan. Yeah. They need a real plan to judge. Yeah, but they. You mean to say they would wouldn't say yes or no? Not officially. It's a, it's a road. Not officially. There's no way they they do that. No, all right. No, I just was trying to hurry up for the town. That's all. I mean, no. they were talking yeah. months down the road. Hey, what surprised me is I was expecting money a whole lot sooner than after the <laughs> after so more paperwork is done. But yeah. okay, no, I just just thought I'd ask. Yeah, because my thoughts are different. But never mind. That's all right. Yeah, that's right. Because you strive for efficiency, Skip. <laughs> and I'm going to stop my words yes. right <laughs> there. Yeah. Uh, all right. So all I wanted to do today was to review the set of bylaws and regulations we're aiming to write. So, as I recall, it's going to be a bylaw for Conservation Commission. I have a question. 
What yes. is that? What's that? What is it? What is what? A CONCOM bylaw. It's something that defines the authority of the CONCOM and the and gives the con the CONCOM the ability to regulate, the authority to regulate. We already have that? We do, but if we write our own bylaw that supersedes the state law, so we have to restate it. How about, uh, I've just never heard of one, that's all. Oh yeah, they're around, you can find them. You have to go hunting, but you, but you can find them. Especially since the authority that we are looking for exceeds wetlands protection. Right, so how come that's not just a wetlands bylaw? Yeah, I was just going to say, most towns and cities just yeah. do a wetlands protection there is, bylaw. There is a wet. Number two is yep. the wetlands protection mm -hmm. bylaw. Okay. Uh, that's that probably the though? two that we need to, to, to write. So the whole point of the CONCOM one is purely to, to express the scope of the authority to, again, that's exceeding the wetlands bylaw, the, 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 it's exceeding the Wetlands Protection Act. When we're talking about assisting the DPW with some of their stormwater related stuff okay. and the erosion control stuff in order to meet all the the latest uh, separate storm MS3? MS4. MS4, MS4 yeah. off by one. <laughs> the MS, in order to assist DPW with MS4 processes. So isn't that updating the stormwater bylaw though? Yeah, is that yeah. No, no, yes, yes, but what we ought to have is a CONCOM bylaw that gives up, that writes our authority. And then certain portions, it's, it, it's a crosshatch of things, unfortunately, if a, if, in, from a legal point of view, from a bylaw point of view. I just, I've never seen one, and I couldn't find one, so I just didn't know where they were. I, I know I've seen them, I'll find some. Okay. Wouldn't it be better that, to just write it, Instead of defining our authority, it would be the authority of the DPW. Because that's, that's already existing. And we would assist the DPW, and that's the extent of it. Uh, I don't know that that, that that would give us all the authority that we need. No, no. Because we, we, would we wouldn't need it. The DPW would be the, yeah. the authority. Well, in any event, we, we, we can talk about how to do all that. This is, this is one of the reasons I just want to talk about what the framework is we're trying to deal with. Yeah. So we can decide. Um, Franklin has a Conservation Commission yeah. bylaw. That's what I just it? pulled up. I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> but ironically, it's been talking about the definition in the town's wetlands bylaw. They, yes, they also have a wetlands bylaw. I think I saw in here they also have a stormwater management bylaw. Yeah, probably. They should. So I've seen most towns, I feel like, don't make a con, -con bylaw. They just yeah. make the rules. Wetlands. They make the wetlands bylaw, and then they have, like, um, rules and regs, rules and regs mm -hmm. that isn't a bylaw, but it's a, so it doesn't give us extending authority, but it more so is just talking about um, procedures, meetings, chairman, election, and that's what Franklin's is, too. Oh, that's like what the ZBA has. Yeah, so it's not expanding our authority. It's just talking about powers and duties and running the meeting. Running the meeting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like you meet every X days, we our quorum is blah blah blah. Minutes will be done, you know, within You don't put any meetings. of that garbage in a bylaw. <laughs> That's what this is. Okay, says. don't put any of that garbage in a good bylaw. <laughs> and vote requirements. I hope Franklin isn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that they're con con bylaws. So town of Franklin I don't know who wrote your bylaw but it sucks. Well you he know says that for the East you go in Massachusetts, right? <laughs> well there is that. <laughs> yeah, it even defines see, quorum. So, yeah. so I understand part of where I'm going is not what we need today for a bylaw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is looking towards the town charter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And CONCOM will have the equivalent of a bylaw in the town charter that defines the limits. Uh, the responsibility, the authority, and the limits of all of that. So my thinking was we beat the charter to the punch. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> either way, it's going to have to get written. And I'd rather do it sooner in bylaw form. But why, 
I'm not trying to be mad, but mm -hmm. why does it have to be written if it can be done in the wetlands bylaw? If all we're going to do it conforms precisely to the Wetlands Protection Act, we don't have to. But if we do anything... No, it's all in the bylaw, all in the wetlands bylaw. If you extend, just like, like I'll always use South Arkansas, sorry, I am. So we just have our wetlands bylaw, mm -hmm. and we've extended, um, so the first 20 feet is considered a resource area, mm -hmm. and we've extended buffer zones to isolated, but we didn't need to have a separate CONCOM bylaw. Right, but I'm talking about granting authority to the CONCOM that does not exist within the framework of the Wetlands Protection Act. For what type for, of folks? Yeah, for, for wetlands? D no, not for wetlands. Oh, for other things. For okay. other things. Okay. Yeah, but I still, still think you can do it within the purview of the wetlands. And amending the stormwater. Now. That's right. You can. The problem with doing it that way is in order to know what CONCOM has authority to do, you have to go through every other bylaw to see where CONCOM is mentioned. That's the beauty true. of putting it in a CONCOM bylaw, it's in a single place that it says, this is your range of authority and ability. But if it's then if it's not authorized for our jurisdiction in the stormwater bylaw, I don't think that would supersede it. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to write it like that, you're going to have to go to the Attorney General. But it's go to the Attorney General anyway. Yeah. I mean, that's that's well, part no, of the process. What I'm saying is, if it's going to be written into the town charter, why do it twice? I mean, cause because the town charter is five years away. That's why. Right, but in the meantime, what what is what is the impetus, or what is the emergency for the CONCOM to act? The 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 town needs to act to properly implement MS4 regulations. Mm -hmm. That's the basis of it Okay, all. and we can do that mm -hmm. without a bylaw. We can. I find that to be sloppy. Well, we have a bylaw. It'd just be updating the stormwater and road control bylaw. Right. Which is, I think, how you have to comply with MS4. Because that's, that's what we that's, just have to update our That's been my experience yeah. in other towns I've worked in, is that they have a wetlands protection bylaw, yeah. Yeah. and they have some form of a stormwater bylaw. A lot of times that also covers erosion and sediment control. Yeah, that's what ours is. Yeah. Well, that's effectively what it would be, yes, yeah. erosion and yeah. sediment yeah. control. Yeah. I mean, I see what you're saying, Peter, is you, if you had a conservation commission bylaw, mm -hmm. you could basically list all of the authority of the commission yes. under that bylaw. Yes. We'd still need a wetlands protection bylaw. Yep. And, and the update water. the stormwater bylaw. Yes, right. Those are still going to have to happen. Yeah. So I guess the question comes down to: Do we want to end up with three or two? I personally lean towards two, only because, like, I looked it up and I found Franklin's. But I, I worked in a lot of towns in Massachusetts. I've never actually seen a concom bylaw before. I just googled it. To be quite honest. Yeah. Not to say that it can't be done, because Franklin did it. Yeah. But theirs was more just how the meeting runs. It, the yeah. I mean, they, their sections were public postings, quorum, minutes, yeah. chairman, voting, vote requirements, hearings. It's pretty, you know. Stuff that's well established in MGL. Yeah. yeah. And that's what makes it bad yeah. to put in local bylaw. Yeah. Maybe not related but would it be helpful for us to put some something in writing similar to what the ZBA does and I'm only bringing it up because I'm rewriting them all just to kind of explain what our procedure is like as far as submitting applications and who they get submitted to and what the process the tech process is like because I, I feel like nobody knows that when they come in mm -hmm. you know if that makes sense just having even something that we can just put on the concom page that says hey here are the steps to get to where you need to be. Yeah. Just a thought. That is worthwhile stuff to have available mm -hmm. for the public. Yep. Worcester has something like that. Mm -hmm. And I, even I find it's helpful, even though I've done a million NOIs. I look it up all the time and say, okay, right, I gotta make sure I notify the abutters based on this requirement. Mm -hmm. there, and theirs is just 
kind of a cheat sheet almost. Yeah. I find it very helpful. The challenge is, is that, like, when we get NOIs from, like, an engineer like Mark, he knows he, you've he got to do the process. abutters list. He knows the whole process. But then you have other people where, like, Dave Lucier didn't know that you had to submit electronically to the DEP, and mm -hmm. it kind of stopped things, you know, stopped things up. You're or, thinking, you know, why, not, why is it all? It's being processed. accessible to the homeowner. Right, because yes. not everybody. I mean, we had a good know. example of that tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. That's why he was on process. Mr. Parsakian yeah. did, you know, use the internet and things like that. So it's just kind of, just something to have on the website. And I feel like a lot of people nowadays, they're they're going to go to the website before they're going to mm -hmm. want to call town hall to find out. So my thought was just going on that, even if we just had, mm -hmm. just as something on there to to point them in the right direction yeah. to say that this is the process, like a checklist. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because yeah. some people just don't know. But doesn't that occur? When they applied for a building permit? No. No, it don't. No, because no, in because fact what happens all too is. often is the building permit, the process it goes stops. through and then it gets hung up in ConCom until they submit paperwork. Right. right. So they don't know in advance, you know, today's the, the NOI for Palmagusset Road. Perfect. The building permit doesn't exist yet. They haven't started that because, the, because, because Mark, Mark knew, knew he needs to come to ComCom, as opposed to how many times in the past six months have we gotten complaints because mm -hmm. we are holding up a building permit because they haven't done the paperwork? It, well, we're not holding it up then. <laughs> no. Well, it's, no, it's not and our And not fault. everything we're requires a building permit. We're not holding either. anything up. Right. It, they they haven't if done if the work so they can't get the building, a building permit. permit. Yeah. Okay. But they don't <laughs> it means they didn't read what... <laughs> But they don't always understand what that an internal no, process they, yeah. is. So they I, just give them my email and they're like, I don't understand what's going on. And then I try to walk them through the process. Right. But a lot of times people don't know and I don't think it's explained to them until they're like, hey, why don't I have my permit yet? All the viewpoint does is it puts more checks to ensure that all the processes are followed. There is nothing in the system to help someone who does not know how to follow the, you know, what the process is, what the complete process can be to you. Right. Yeah. See, that was, I'll be honest with you, Peter, that was one of the reasons my phone number was up on the mm -hmm. website. So that somebody could call and get an answer immediately. Yep. Say, yes, you have to file this, or you need to come to this meeting, and it was done. I mean, the guys that normally we deal with, uh, you know, the engineering folks, yeah, yeah. we ne were never a problem. And it was only occasionally that you would run into something from a homeowner where they had a, a question. My uh, argument with that, though, is it's gotten a lot more complicated. Because I feel so like... It's no more complicated today than it was No, but there's a lot more with, ago. like, electronic submissions now. And I feel like the DP is kind of doing things a little bit different since COVID. And <coughs> sometimes I feel like people would rather have something in writing that they can just look at and print off than to maybe talk on the phone and try to write it down. And Well, I, now what's you're bringing up, Tamika, what I was going to point out as if we sign up to have all the stuff on the website, and I'm not saying we shouldn't, mm -hmm. but we are then taking on the responsibility of keeping it up to date as mm -hmm. processes around us change mm -hmm. and that could be as much a maintenance headache for us as anything so i just yeah. i just want to say you know as you said yourself the dep is, has changed the way they behave and what they expect mm -hmm. and if somebody goes if we're going to steer them in the right direction we need to keep that up to date with what other agencies are requiring so they know what to do so that they, the homeowner, know what to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think we're already guilty of that because there's stuff on there that is not necessarily relevant or helpful, um, you know, because I know that the select board, that's one of their things, is trying to update the website. And I only think it will help us if we help the people. I, I agree you know? that that's the best chance to do it. I, I It is unfortunate that nobody's going to know how to look up whether or not there might be a concom related issue on their site and let it. and and the only way it ever happens is when i'm looking at the building permits mm -hmm. and i wish there were a way to go to make it easier yeah. i mean really easy for somebody to say i live here what agencies do i need to deal with to I build actually, this addition to drop this shed to 
I've been pleasantly surprised with the amount of people lately that have come to us and mm-hmm. said, like, hey, yeah. I know that there's something back there. You know, what do I need to do? The thing I got to caution you on is that things, when you go into things like that, they always seem to evolve into a full-time position. We have neither the budget nor anyone <laughs> But I'm kind of all, the all the money that we're to hire people to do it full time. Yeah. Right. But it, it will evolve into something like that as soon as you open up because now you'll have every other board in town saying, well, you can talk to this one. I kind of already do that anyways. You know, and everything yeah. else. All that's of a sudden true. You, get you deal with a lot of so many, yeah, so many boards I, right now. But. Yeah. yeah but, that's, uh, but like, but that's kind of how it happens now is like I'll get the email from the building inspector or someone will say like, oh, so-and-so told me to reach out to you. And then I kind of walk them through the process if they're not familiar with it. Like even the people for the NOI done on Pomagusset and all the emails back and forth and about this abutter list and the radius and all that other stuff. So I feel like we're kind of already doing that, if that makes sense. Yeah. Right. The thing you gotta be careful of is how far do you handhold? How long do you handhold? Because that's what you're doing. You're babysitting. Yeah, but right? I think just giving you, them procedures. You got to know so. the difference of when, you know, when that ends. Otherwise, it'll never end. And that's the, that's what I'm saying is the problem is, is is when you open that up. Okay, it becomes <laughs> you'll be the go-to person for every possible question that arises. My only oh. concern with and that, I, though, I, is that things are going to not be done properly because people are going to hit a wall, and if they don't have anybody to help them, they're just going to say, forget it, I'm not going to apply for that permit. We'll see if somebody calls me on it. Yeah. You know, like the gentleman that was here tonight, if I don't help him with this RDA, it's, it won't It'll happen happen because yeah. he doesn't use emails or computers or Zoom. So, right. I don't know. Um, he well, honestly didn't know. Oh, sure. oh, I believe, absolutely, and, you know, he was very understanding when I spoke to him. He just said, I'm not computer literate, so he, he drove all the way from Millbury here tonight because he said, I can't do the computer, so that's why I want to make sure that I help him because at the end of the day, that's what's going to be able to get it done. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yep. You know? That property, by the way, has been in his family for over 50 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of those properties that property, down there are They acquired time. that property back in the 60s. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Tamika. Yeah. For the next agenda, mm-hmm. I'd like to pull off bylaws and regulations <laughs> okay. and put on mm-hmm. website review. Okay. I think that's fair. That might be a good idea. Yeah. I think we should all take a look at it, decide what's what yeah. we need to put there, what we need to get the hell off there. Yeah. I don't think your phone number's on there anymore, Peter, is it? My phone number was never on there. It was. Uh, it's it, no, Peter's phone number was never on there. 886-4100. Oh, yeah, that's just the main. Oh, so I thought your phone that's number was on there for a while, and you were getting phone calls. And then we changed it, because it was Joe's. Right. Yeah. I never, I might be I never asked my number get put on oh, there. Okay, I might have asked my number. Yeah. The town went, went on. Right. So, so I also think that I was getting phone calls because people were handing out my phone number. Oh, that's why. Okay, I thought it had it on the website. Yeah. Well, I do that as often as I can. <laughs> <laughs> like, excuse me, do you yep. need help? <laughs> no, there's there's a reason I don't it. pick this up. Maybe be careful. I'll, I'll hand your phone number out next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get enough random calls. It's fine. All right, so I think that's our plan for next time. Okay. Uh, is there any other business before the commission? Um, I had sent to Tamika that in the estate law on Tricky Hill, they were cleared and oh, it yes. was up to 10, 15 feet from the pond. Wow. The fire pond. Yeah. That's so, right. I did, I did notice the email. I just didn't read it in depth again. And they started grading too, so there's no erosion controls. There's erosion controls in the, I think, what is lot one? That's mm-hmm. like if you came down Irish, would yeah, be yeah. directly across, but this is the estate lot. The one that's way back. back. Yeah, which yeah. I don't think we permitted. Before we go, can we try to figure out? I was trying to find that the is. Lots. Which, which I can also check on the Irish one? Board. on Turkey Hill, across from Irish, basically in the 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 what's the guy's name the, for the Rutland Septic guy? 
that's all oh, on the land. Oh, uh, oh, meager. Meager. Yeah. There was one plan on one of the applications that had what every lot was, oh. and I couldn't find it. But I know there's been some that have come before um, the planning board recently because they were doing um, common driveways, and then there was an A and R. But I, I don't specifically remember which one. So I just went to an arbitrary address on Turkey Hill Road. That should be Irish right there, maybe? No. No, I'm definitely confused about that. You're, where are you? Are you in Maine? <laughs> <laughs> where, where I'm in there? Vermont, obviously. Yeah. 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 <laughs> where? You're keep going, going up, keep up. going, you're up there. Are you going the right way or the wrong way? I can't tell. That's Turk, that's, that's Irish right. line right there, isn't mm, it? No. One of these no. is Irish. No. I don't think either of them. Either, no, neither of those are. Where, where are you? Just zoom out. Be back here. <laughs> Just zoom out, man. Zoom this up. Uh, oh yeah. So that's my house. So it's this. So if this is the access road, and it's, they're clearing right there. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Trees are gone, what, they're grading. What are they cleaning? Just crap trees. Oh, so what's the problem? They don't have an NOI. This is that oh. fire pond. Oh, all oh. right. So they're right up to the edge here. Oh, they're on the edge of that. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, on this side of town, there's no DCR involvement. Right. So they have... Really? This, yeah. It's yeah. the only, the only place the only in town. Section. So they have this silt fence, because I think they're going to start here soon, I would assume. Yeah. But there's not... And then they have these... Uh, there's this one, this one, this one, and this one so far. Yeah, that hasn't, that, that hasn't Which, made it from the assessor's office yeah. on the maps yet. So yeah. we've permitted three? Not one. I think oh, totally how many did three? Three. Oh, yeah, that sounds right. Which was, but they were just along the road. Yeah. So what are they oh, doing back here? here? They're, I'm assuming the it's a, that's the estate lot where the, another house is going. But they just mm -hmm. didn't submit it. this is all going to be over here as a state lot? No, it's, I think it's just from the access road, and then it's like a pork chop. Oh, they're going to take, okay. Yeah. Let's see. How's it going to build it? They might not have yet. Oh, yeah, yeah like I checked old, viewpoint and I couldn't find it. There was um, an old like semi-trailer back there, yeah. so I'm sure they just started like clearing out some of the old stuff. Did we get a uh, notification from the uh, forester? No. Were they no. doing any logging over there? No, it's not that big. It's definitely a circle, like, okay. you know, yeah. right where a house is going. Hmm. I don't know how to figure out who to send something to. Um, maybe get the A and R plan from Dave. Mm -hmm. I can try looking at the deeds tomorrow and see if I. Because if that's going to be a state lot, that has to go through planning, doesn't it? It already yeah. has. It already yeah, yeah, it's already, it's already been divided up. It's already A and R. Okay. I just don't know which one it is. And it doesn't do like the little info, the little I when you hold This one doesn't have anything. This one yeah. actually has this marvelous. Come on. Did I right click? Yeah. No data. Oh. Link right. to this parcel. <laughs> Perfect. Hmm. Yay. Well, I wouldn't expect it to be any of that. No, I, actually, I do. I would expect this to have the assessor's parcel info about the entire parcel, no, not about any of the it. any of the A and R stuff. Oh, oh. But I would have expected so, this entire parcel to come up. It. Just I like, think it's I mean, called lot like this one. Six. Lot six. Yeah. Come on, come up. This one will definitely come up, and you can see it's Carol Viner's stuff, so it's got the property shape. Yeah. But this other one. Oh yeah, because we it did didn't. The somehow, it's never made it into our system. Hmm. Well, now we feel it unappreciated and unimportant. Yeah, especially <laughs> if it's the same developer doing the other houses, it's kind of like, yeah. What did you do? Yeah. What did I say? Lot six. Lot yes. six. 
Um, so it's Sean and Shannon Keen at 85 Mason Road, Holden. Oh, that does sound familiar. I do think, I remember that name from planning boards. Okay. So I can try to find out which engineer pre presented that for them because it wasn't them. Okay. Are we going to send them a letter and ask them what's going on? I'm going to check with Dave first because the engineer is either Julian or it's that other gentleman. I can't remember his name. Mm. He's come here before to us too. Um, I'll check with Dave. But then if not, I'm I'll... Not a Grafton? It yes, well, right. yes, it's Grafton. He did the, he did, they did the Emerald Road one. Yes. Planning. 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 No, Norm. I'm sorry. It no. wasn't Norm Hill. No, no not Grafton. Okay. This was, yeah, this was a different gentleman, but not from this direction. Well, Norman lives right in over on Devon Pond. You're right, yes. Yeah. Oh, he does? Yes. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, he owns one of the properties over there. Mm -hmm. We were talking about that on one of the sidewalks. He lives opposite, the op what we were looking at today, tonight, North he's at the other end. What were okay. the names again? Sean and Shannon Keen. K E A K E E N E. And Sean is S H A U N. Okay. And what was their holding address again? Uh, 85 Mason? E yes. Okay. Mason Road. Holden. I'll check with Dave George first to see if I can get the engineer or the contractor's name because I'll probably get further with that. Mm. And then if not, right. I'll reach out to them. But that definitely sounds familiar. I think this one was owned by um, RPM Main Enterprises, yes. which I believe is Julian. Julian has been doing their stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'll confirm that. Is the one that we permitted the last time where Julian came in and there was talk about filling in the pond on the property, is that Close that's to across, the, that's across, the, across, across the, street. the street. Yeah, yes. okay. I was just and curious. A little further south, okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. I'll get to the bottom of it. <laughs> I have faith. <laughs> <laughs> I got Mr. Parsaki in here, so that was <laughs> took a few phone calls, but we made it work. I'll ask you again. Is there any other business before the commission tonight? Hearing none. You'll have a motion to adjourn? I'll do it. Second. Second. <laughs> Third. Fight over it. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> We're all here. All, uh, all in favor. Uh, Aye. Aye. Thanks, everybody.